It's not right that in today's day and age, more than two billion people do not have access to safely managed water. And Pacific Institute has done a really good job, I think, of like both crunching big numbers to show like what water challenges are in this country and specifically spot like the equity challenges on water and then like really putting a human face and like helping people understand the emotional weight and like the cost of human dignity and human health uh, when we're talking about these issues is really powerful. There's a lot of action at the Pacific Institute. They connect the dots. This is about making sure that frontline communities, typically those that are affected first and worst by the impacts of climate change on water, that their needs are addressed in the solutions that we put forward. And so our work is about making sure we understand how climate change will affect these communities and what are the things that we can do to address those impacts before they occur. What we found in our work, in fact, is that there are many low income and communities of color that are at risk of climate impacts, um, at risk of flooding, at risk of mobilizing of contaminants, industrial pollution in some of these areas. And so there are really important equity components, um, not only of sea level rise, but of all climate impacts. Packs. And it's not just the developing country problem. We have problems that the Institute has quantified in providing safe water and sanitation in the Central Valley of California for farm worker communities. A, a terrible human right failure, uh, a failure of, of equity. Everyone in the world needs to lean in. So irrespective of who you are, whether you're a, a citizen, whether you're a corporate, whether you're a financial institution, whether you're a government, whether you're a philanthropist, everybody needs to lean in. We know how to solve those problems. There's no technological, magical technological solution that needs to be invented to solve them. We have enough money worldwide to solve that failure to meet basic human needs for water. We just need to do it much more aggressively and quickly.